Welcome to another Inside the Recording Studio Tuesday Tip. Today we are going to follow up on our last week's podcast episode about EQ types. Today I'm going to take a look at parametric EQs and how we can use them to solve issues in a mix. Let's get started. Here we have a session that is being remixed and we have a problem with one of the instruments clashing a little bit with the vocal. Let's take a quick listen. And that instrument in question happens to be the snare. So let's take a quick listen to that soloed. There's a fairly big ring that is going on in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this isotope ozone EQ. We're going to set it up so that it has a lot of gain in the upward direction with a fairly tight Q. And then we're going to sweep the frequency range to see if we can figure out where that ring is. All right, I believe that ring is in the 1300 to 1400 range. So we're gonna set it right here. We're gonna pull the gain back out a bit. Let's bring it down about six dB, tighten up the cue just a hair. And let's listen again. I will flip it in and out so we can hear the difference. And in the context of the whole mix. As you can hear, it tightens up the mix a little bit and less competition on the vocal. You can use parametric EQs to help solve issues. You can also help them to enhance other aspects of a mix. In future episodes of Tuesday Tips, we will explain other types of EQs. 